Hi there, Coach Patrick here from Rocket Bike. Super excited to have you check out the test area um, and make sure here in this video that you're paying attention because we wanna cover all the aspects of testing. Not only the basic infrastructure side, but also some of the details related to the test process itself, okay? So the test that we're going to send you once you complete the form below is a Zwift file. In fact, there's two, one for each day of testing, day one, day two. They're meant to be done on back-to-back -back days. You need to get those on your computer by following the instructions, basically dragging them to your workouts folder. And then when you log into Zwift, you'll see them as actual workouts. When you initiate the workouts, you'll actually get step-by-step -step instructions in text on the screen on what to do next. So please pay attention, don't be distracted. Before you take the test, we recommend you take at least one day off, if not two, maybe some light aerobic activity so you're rested before you get in to do this work. It's challenging in the test, harder than you want it to be, but over faster than you think right? Super important to remember that as we go through the test. So on day one, you're going to test your peak power output, right? Like less than 30 second power, just crazy all out. Some of the hardest cycling you've done. And then we'll do a three minute test. On day two, we do a six minute test and a 10 minute test. Okay. All of the tests are meant to be peak power output followed by a decline. So on the 25 second test, it's just all in. We just go, right? You're going to use the warm ups before that to just make sure you've got the right gear because there's no shifting during that, right? On the three, six, and 10 minute tests, they're all meant to be done where the first portion of the test is, is really strong. So for example, on the three minute test, if you think you can hold 250 watts, you should really, for the three minutes, you should really take off at like 300 watts for a minute and then bring it down as close to 250 as you can. We're looking for this peak power and this drop on every single file. So six minute test, you think you can hold 220? Let's start off at 250, as long as you can, and then let it come down, okay? That's what we're looking for. A key reminder that all tests need to be completed seated on your bike, on your Zwift trainer. There is no standing. Standing is cheating and standing disrupts things because it throws your mechanics off as well as incorporates body weight in terms of how it affects your power. We just want you seated, even though in real life you may be resting or racing with standing uh, and so on, okay? Um, as you go through the test, again, you have step-by-step -step instructions. And I wanted to give you just a quick note about that first test. One of the most important parts about the first day of testing and the first test is that we need two minutes of easy spinning before the real world capture interval, okay? Um, if you do not go easy enough in those two minutes, we won't be able to get the data we need. And this is the source of most people's trouble with the testing. They're just going along and what feels as easy to them, two watts per kilo, one and a half watts per kilo in the game, talking to people, texting away. It says go, they go, they're done. They're so excited, they did it, they worked really hard. Then we look at the data and they were just going too hard. Any moment too hard in those two minutes will mess us up, okay? So really knock it down, like lower than one watt per kilo, half a watt per kilo. Your avatar should be starting and stopping, starting and stopping, starting and stopping, maybe putting its foot down, picking it up, looking at you like, hey, are we gonna ride or what, okay? That's what we really, really want, okay? Now, um, as you complete the test, we'll have instructions for you based on the form below where you should send it to see if uh, it looks good and then to connect with you to see if you want to begin your rocket bike training. Um, rocket bike definitely as a program incorporates this data and it's a launching point for us to start with the program, making sure that we're personalizing where we begin to your sport and making sure that we're as 100% on target as possible to maximize your experience here within the course of the 16 weeks. If you have questions about your test or questions about the process, the email confirmation from the form itself will give you a link to set up a call. We'll be happy to talk with you, uh, make sure that you understand everything about Rocket Bike, see if you have any other questions about the process, um, and get you started. All right. So good luck. Uh, fill out that form. We'll get you the test files. We'll go from there. Super excited to see your data and see what the opportunities are based on the system, based on the modeling, and based on the hard work you can do. I'll be back soon, folks. Take care. This is Coach Patrick from Rocket Bike signing off. I'll see you.